This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Well, we do have lease, but nothing is available currently. We don't have any trucks available on lease. I can double check, you know, if something opens up, I can, you know, check again with my fleet manager and I can get and I can let you know. But basically, if you are leasing, then you would have the cost, you know. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at key carriers out of Burridge, Illinois. Key carriers is looking for you. This is a 1099 company driver position that's starting you off at 60 cent per mile drive-in and 65 cent per mile reefer but they do have some lease options which is at 85 percent of the load if that's interesting to you stay tuned well we have a few options available right now we have a kw t680 next gen automatic 2023 and uh, also we have a KW 2017 uh, available as well. Those two are right now. Back to being um, 1099, right, um, that you guys is offering as an independent contractor. But you guys, it says here that you guys is offering 60 cents per mile as a 1099 guy. How much? Six, six, zero. For drive in and six, yeah, and six five for a reefer. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. At the moment, yeah. For a now, let me make sure I get this straight. For a ten ninety nine independent contractor, you guys is offering me six zero per mile drive in and six sixty five per mile. For reefer. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Um, can you explain uh, the two types of deductions that you got here? Um, one of them is occupational insurance, and the other one is ELD. I that that come out of my pocket, the forty five dollars and the twenty five dollars. Can you explain that? Those are the deductions that we have, and the uh, you know for all of the drivers. Okay, so what is occupational insurance, though? Uh, so basically, it's uh, around keep you know if you have any type of uh, you know injury or anything in the working place, that's covered. Okay, okay. Um, Home time, mm -hmm. you guys require three weeks. Uh, three weeks out would uh, with four days in. So if I'm running regional, because that's pretty much my area, the Midwest area, I I won't be able to get home every week. Uh, if you would like to go on a regional run, because we do have something regional in the Midwest, we can get you home every week. Yes. Okay. Uh, of course, yeah. you, of course. So the, the two weeks out, the three week or three weeks out, is basically for an over the road position. That's how much we require. But you know, if you keep in the Midwest area, then we can have you home on the weekends. Okay, okay, okay. Again, like I said, I'm I'm going over the the, the email that uh that my buddy sent me. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys, so all major holidays, uh, we if we request to be home, we'll we'll be home for the major holidays and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So if I'm a if if I'm going to be a 1099 driver or anything like that, do I have to pay for uh, my drug screening, my my uh, my way up there, and my no. hotel accommodations? No. 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 That's oh. covered. That's covered from us. Okay. So drug screening, what is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? It's urine. Urine. Do you guys run Canada? Mm -hmm. No, we do not. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So the deductions. So that's every week, that 45 and $25. That's every week, right? Yeah. 
Uh, yes, sir. And you do you you do have drive cameras inside the truck, right? Yes, but road facing, not towards the drivers. Okay, okay. Um, now you said this is ten ninety nine independent contractor as a company driver. I, I still can't get that over my head. But do you guys offer? Do you guys offer any lease options? Because I, understand, listen. Understand what I'm thinking, okay? I'm I'm thinking if I'm going to be a 1099 guy and take responsibility for everything that's coming my way, I might as well go to full the full fledged and just go lease with you guys to at least make more money. So, do you guys offer that? And if so, how much more can I get if I go the lease route? Well, we do have lease, but nothing is available currently. We don't have any trucks available on lease. I can double check, you know, if something opens up, I can, you know, check again with my fleet manager and I can get and I can let you know. But basically, if you are leasing, then you would have the cost, you know, the the cost for the truck, you'll have payments on the truck, you'll have payments for the gas, for the uh, trailer rent, um, you know, so the deductions are a lot more also. You have like main, uh, maintenance account, rescrow. Uh, so how how much yeah. more? So, so how so how much more? How much more would I I I get now if I'm going if if you know if I was to go that route? How much how much more pay would I get? Well, uh, currently for the drive in and for division, 85% of the load is going towards contractors. On a weekly average, the miles are between 20 to 3100. You should be making between 50 to 6500 dollars. After the deductions, you should take home between 16 to 2500 dollars. So the weekly deductions that you'll have are fuel, iPads, Bobtail insurance, 95 dollars. Uh, maintenance account 10 to 15 cents per mile, depending on the year of the truck. If you go with the drive-in, you have between 230 to $300 uh, for the rent. If you go with the reefer, it's 650 a week. We have brand new Great Danes. The ELD, $30, $30, occupational insurance, 45 plates and permits, 70 and you have a fuel rebate with our fuel cards, 10 cents per gallon. And for the lease option, we recommend like a minimum 12 days out with two days in. Okay. Awesome. Okay. See it that's pay off. now. Yeah. See that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking as far as 1099 goes. Mm-hmm. Because I I rather mm-hmm. I I rather take my shot at that than versus mm-hmm. being the 1099 independent contractor slash company driver making 60 cent a mile. You you see where I'm going with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So well, let me. So I understand, but I would. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, all right, so let me um, let uh-huh. me let me just go ahead and clarify. I, I I know you're busy, and I do appreciate the time. So thank you very much. Uh, it's okay, no, no worries. Um, so the drive van position, ten ninety nine company driver starts at sixty cent per mile, and mm-hmm. for the reefer uh, position, ten ninety nine uh, independent mm-hmm. contractor. Company driver, sixty-five cent a mile. Our deductions will be mm-hmm. twenty-five for the ELD and sixty. What you say, sixty? I'm trying to scroll up here. Sixty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five for the occupational insurance. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, pet and rider policy. And how young can I bring my uh, rider? Uh, so uh, we have a rider policy. You know, the passenger just needs to be at least 10 years of age, and you need to report them to our safety team. Awesome. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do. Have you completed the program, sir? Uh, no, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm just asking the general question. <laughs> no, no I it's, yeah, it's not for me. I, I'm, I'm just asking the general question because I, I don't see it in this in your email. Uh, okay. Uh, do you uh-huh. guys also offer some type of sign-on bonus or no? Not at this time, sir, no. 
All right, very good. All right, ma'am. Thank you very much, uh, key carriers. Okay. So thank you very much, ma'am. I really appreciate the time. Thank you. Key carriers, everybody. All right, so first thing first, shout out to my man's man. Uh, that is Trucker J. I want to say if I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, yeah, Trucker J. He emailed me this information this morning, and he wanted my, you know, wanted my thoughts on it. Now, as I was reading uh, the email, everything sounds good. Don't get me wrong. Every, everything, everything sounds good with this company. They trucks are governed at uh, 68 on the pedal, 70 on the cruise, which is cool. <laughs> Uh, they got drive-in position. They got reefer position. They're offering anywhere between 2,800 to 3,200 miles a week. But the only thing that got me is this is a 1099 company driver slash independent contractor position. Now, my thoughts on that is... If I'm going to be a 1099, then I I rather go to full shebang because if I'm going to be 1099, 60 cent and 65 cent ain't going to cut it. That's W2 company driver money. You guys feel what I'm saying? I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know if I'm wrong. But to me, I just feel that as a company driver, W2 driver, 60 and 65 cent is pretty much the norm as a company driver. But if you want me to take responsibility for my insurance, pay for my own benefits and whatever else comes my way, then you going to have to give me a little bit more than 60 cent per mile, <laughs> 65 cent per mile. If, if I'm going to take all, if I'm going to take on all those type of responsibilities, I'm I'm just saying, all right. So they do have lease options though. Now I'm not sure if it's lease purchase. We didn't go into too much detail about it, but by the sounds of it, I think it's like lease to rent, pretty much. And the way I see it, you're renting, you're paying them to drive their truck to get you a little bit more money in your pocket. Now, instead of the deductions, that the little bit of deductions that a quote-unquote 1099 company driver pays, the least 1099 driver is going to have to is going to have to is going to have to bear the whole weight, you know, paying for the truck, paying for the trailer, paying for your benefits, paying for your insurance paying for your fuel, paying for if the truck breaks down, paying for your tires, paying for this, that, and the third. You is going to be responsible for all of that. While in return, getting 85% of the load. Which, after everything, you could still take home about fifteen to $1,600 a week versus a company driver where you'll do anywhere between 1680 to like maybe 1920 a week and then your net will be a little bit less than that home time three weeks out uh four to five days home but if you're up in the midwest region such as myself you could get home you know, on a weekly basis. But if you're not and you want to stay out a little bit longer and try to make a little bit more money, by all means, they can do that. Major holidays, but you got to let them know in advance of the holiday. Uh, a couple of trucks that they have, uh, she mentioned, I, I, I tend to forget, but I know one of them is a T680, maybe 2017. They've been in existence for about six years, 
and they are located in Burr Ridge, Illinois. Key carriers, everybody, if you're interested in key carriers, the information will be in the description below. I will leave the phone number and everything else you need. They also, she also has the IntelliLink in this email. I will put that in the description. If anybody drive or have driven for key carriers, let us know of your experience. Of course, you know how I feel. You guys know that I think that this is a black ops company. Uh, any 1099 company is kind of a red flagish to me because if I'm going to be a company driver, I'd rather have it to be W-2. All right. That's 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 just me. But I don't mind leasing. You guys with leasing, get in, get your money and get out. Also, this company does its SAP drivers. <laughs> So if you completed the program, this company will give you the chance to drive for them. Sign-on bonus is a no. They will cover your hotel stay and they will cover your transportation. Again, shout out to my man, Trucker J, for sending me the information. Thank you very much, sir. Also appreciate the coffee. Thank you very much. We do have a goal, everybody. So uh, if you like the cause and you want to support the cause, you can do it by way of the coffee goal, which is cash app, dollar sign, lockout men. And whoever, that, whoever else you guys want me to call, you can email me at lockout men podcast guest and suggest who you would like for me to call next. That's going to do it for this MTC. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?